Are you ready to make your own lotion? If you haven't made your own lotion before, the challenge is where to begin. It's pretty simple to make your own lotion. As what I have mentioned in the lecture, you just need water, oil, and emulsifier, plus all the skin-loving ingredients you can think of. And don't forget the preservatives! First, you will need a scale and your heat-resistant beakers. You can use stainless pots in making lotion, but I prefer glass beakers for small batches and stainless pots for big batches. First, I'm going to measure all the face A or water face. Measure all your ingredients properly. As you may know, lotion will consist majority of water. If you want thicker consistency, add more cetyl alcohol waxes and butters if you want thin consistency add a lot of water just don't forget that your formulation should total to 100 percent now set aside your face a next the oil phase again measure all the ingredients properly here you can add the waxes settle alcohol butters and oils you can choose oils that has lots of benefit for your skin, such as sunflower oil, which contains vitamin E and antioxidants that is good for the skin. Or simply, coconut oil for its antifungal and antibacterial properties. If you want, you can add shea butter, cocoa butter, or mango butter, which has a lot of skin benefits as well. Set aside. Now phase C or the cooling phase. Measure properly all your actives and extracts. Measure your scents and preservatives consecutively. Next step is to place your beakers in a double boiler. Heat both to 158 degrees Fahrenheit or simply bring it to boil. Don't let the water boil for a long time for it will evaporate. Now that all the waxes are melted and the water phase reached the boiling point, add your oil phase to water phase. Don't add the water to oil. You always want to do it this way. Then immediately use your emulsion blender to help with the emulsion process. You can check your lotion every after 5-10 to 10 minutes and blend it using your stick blender. When your lotion is around 50 degrees Celsius, or if you have no thermometer, wait until it reaches a semi-thick consistency. Add the remaining ingredients such as titanium dioxide, preservative, and scent or essential oils. Remember to never forget about your preservative unless you will consume it in just 3 days, which should be placed inside a refrigerator. You need preservative to keep your lotion from bacteria and fungi. Now pour your lotion to your desired container. Stick your label, seal, and you're ready to use it or sell it. 